Hi friends, welcome all to the new episode of Excel and Excel. And today we are going to learn how to use the if function. So in my example, as you can see, I have got the HR master of my company, where the designation of each of the employees are already mentioned. But I want to check whether this designation are as per the company's policy or not. So as per the company's policy, the one which has salary above fifty thousand are managers. And the one below fifty thousands is executive. So for checking that, I will use the function of if. So at first, I will apply the if function. Select the cell wherein I want to check the logic. In my example, if salary is above fifty thousand, then it should be. Manager, and if it is below fifty thousand, then it will be an executive. For the people who don't know, every time we write something in inverted comma in Excel, it consider it as a constant. now as you can see i have got the value that is of executive so i will repeat the same formula over the whole of my data and as you can see there are various cases wherein there is conflict between the hr master and the company's policy let's now move ahead to the next level so generally in various organizations the salary of an employee is based on the billable hours that he charges so in my particular example if the billable hours is above 28 then his incentive will be 10% and if it is below 28 then that employee will get a flat incentive of 1000 rupees so for calculating the incentive we need to apply the logic over these four cells so I'll, our logic test will also revolve around these four cells only so we will apply the if function and then select the reason where we want to check the logic and since we want to get the sum of these four cells that is t to g above 28 or below 28 we will use the formula of sum and then select the various cells wherein we want to check the logic and if it is above 28 the incentive shall be salary multiplied by 10 percent and if it isn't then it will be thousand rupees flat as you can see the incentive of ek takhatri is 1000 rupees and if i apply the formula over the whole of my data by using control c and then selecting whole of the cell using control shift up and pressing control v i will get the salary of each of the employees and their incentive automatically I hope this video was useful for you. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.